guys, Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. Hopefully it finds you all doing well. Today, hopefully a short and sweet video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. It's really my best piece of advice, whether you're a brand new player, especially if you're a brand new player, but even if you're an intermediate in the mid game, in the end game, a seasoned veteran playing this game for three plus years, it's still important to really let this sink in. And again here, I, I don't think I, I'd be doing my job as a, as a YouTube creator here, so official, if I wasn't making a video like this that I could refer to even in the future, because I have a lot of shard opening videos here on the channel, you know, to the surprise of nobody, they're, they're fun to do. They're fun to do. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, all of you idiots, you rubes, you suck. However, the thing is, is I wouldn't do those if I didn't have to, didn't have to make YouTube content, right? Because they call this a gotcha game, right? Raid Shadow Legends is a gotcha game. But they don't really talk about why. Why do they call it a gotcha game? Because of the pop-up ads? Not really, you know, like sure, that's, that's, you know, an element that we see in a lot of gotcha games. But the reason, how do they gotcha? How do, when, when does Plarium really go, gotcha? Nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. Of course, I'm being a little bit hyperbolic here. To me, in this game, it's all about champions. It's all about champions. And well, what do you mean it's all about champions? We know that, Ash. We know that. This game is all the gotcha element is all making you want or pull champions. A special event champion. We got a new fusion champion. Got a new fragment summon. We got a new doom tower champion. We got a new this champion, that champion. Use all your resources and go for this champion. We have a double time event. We have a 10 time event. We have all these crazy events going on all the time. All geared, all of these events are geared towards getting you guys to spend money or resources Mostly money because you're going to run out of resources. They're finite, right? To get more champions. And again, I, I perpetuate this by pulling shards and, and celebrating when I get new champions. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of amazing champions out there. And maybe it does make sense to go for some of them. I would never begrudge somebody who pays money for a game like this. I mean, I spend money, obviously, on a game like this. Uh, and that's totally cool. I'm hearing more and more from more and more of you guys, right? Twitter. YouTube comments, emails about, dude, Ash, I'm so upset. I didn't get this champion. I missed this fusion. I missed this fragment summon. What am I going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Dude, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you didn't go after Helica. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. You didn't go after Brogny. Ga, ga, ooh, rah, rah. It, it's, it's okay. Because the secret, the little dirty secret in this game is really two things. Number one is for 95% of the content in Raid Shadow Legends, 95% of the content you can do just getting free champions, right? There's amazing, amazing daily login reward champions in this game. I mean, check it out. High Katoon, Yaga, no. Dark Aethel, eh. Dark Helhane, Silva Drix, Tanix Hate Flower, Grush the Mangler, Vizix the Unbowed, and then more after that. Eventually, you can get, you know, Archmage Helmet, some of the champions from Doom Tower Normal as you progress in the game, right? And then you can get Drekstar Blood Twin in the Bazaar. You can get uh, Yannicka. There's so many different champions out there that you can actually get by being 100% free to play. And the beautiful thing is, is the cadence which this game awards you resources. When I say resources, I mean mainly energy, right? Mainly energy, such, such that you can only really afford to, to work on one or two or three champions at a time, one team at a time, at the very most. Even me, dirty pay to win player, I don't work on more than one or two champions at a time, right? I take my time, I enjoy the game, right? And you can enjoy this game so much without going for every champion. Whether you're a spender, whether you're not a spender, this is not advice for free to play players. It's advice for everybody. You don't need all these champions. You should not feel so compelled to go for a fusion or go for a fragment summon or go for a special event, a 10 time event, unless it makes perfect sense for you. Perfect sense for you and your account. But again, I don't want you guys to be broke off Raid Shadow Legends. Why not, you stupid bastard? I, I think that you probably know who you are, you know? And I, I don't mean to just cast aspersions at all or anything like that. But at the end of the day, these are just pixels inside your phone or your computer, right? and to spend your hard-earned money on them, that's totally cool. But if you can't afford it, 
if you're you know making sacrifices elsewhere for your family or even time out with your friends if that's something you don't really want to do deep down but you feel like you have to compete in raid shadow legends because your clan tells you to or whatever or because plarium pressures you to or because a stupid youtuber gives you peer pressure to open during a shard event i feel like it's 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 really important to recognize that the real way to play this game the real way to, to have fun and, and and have balance is to never feel like you need more champions right this game throws so many champions at you and they're always getting better and better more artifacts at you all the time there's no need to feel compelled to spend money on this game it's the irony of Raid Shadow Legends. The irony is, is sure, there's a lot of strategy involved in the end game of Raid Shadow Legends. You can have a lot of fun with Doom Tower bosses, with Hydra Clan boss, with regular Clan boss, etc. in the end game, uh, even if you have a, every champion in the game. However, and I've said this before, but it bears repeating again, especially given the, uh, the, the subject of the video, it's somewhat strategically more fun. And I know this because I have a free to play account, right? I've done it, I've done it. It's more fun when you do have some parameters around yourself when you don't have every champion in the game like i do on my main account almost this is you this is me this is all we need hegemon i'll get you someday man get you someday i just hope you all recognize that especially new players listen i freaking love raid shadow legends i love this game i play it way too much right it takes up way too much of my time i upload it here on youtube i have a day job where you know my time is uh relatively limited i'll put it that way but i love doing this i love you guys i love my community but it really pains me deep down and i'm not just saying that to be you know whatever fake empathetic it really does pain me to see people spending their money when they don't have to man you don't have to and if you want to great but spend it when you really love a champion because you don't need every champion in this freaking game. I've made my point, guys. I don't have to make this a 20 minute video, right? But I, I just had to get it off my chest. The number one tip in Raid Shadow Legends is that you don't need all these champions, right? Look at all these factions. They have hundreds and hundreds of champions. I be like, look what I got on, look at what I got on. Statue Liberty, what's up? Hundreds of champions, right? And the fact of the matter is, is with the freebies alone, you can get and clear the end game content. So, you know you know how to farm legendary skill tomes in this game? You know how to farm epic skill tomes? I had an interview with Plarium a couple days ago. By the way, thanks for the feedback on that interview. I really enjoyed it. The answers were not the ones that I was hoping for, for the most part, but I love the transparency. And I know I got some, she and, and I got some hate in the comments, people mad, but I, you know, I, I appreciate it. But anyway, I say all that to say that she said that there was not going to be any way to farm books ever, and not ever. Add to the game. It's not on their roadmap. I don't get it. Let me repeat that. No way to, to farm skill tomes on their roadmap. To me, that's messed up. But that just furthers my main point of this video, right? And I will end it there. Is that you can't even get enough skill tomes and enough books without spending to upgrade the champions that you do have. So why are you going to focus on spreading yourself so thin, use all your energy and your silver on your best champions that you use the most? and then start adding one at a time when you get them for free or when it makes sense for you. That's all you need in Raid Shadow Legends. You can enjoy yourself. And again, especially for new players coming into this game, you should really, really know that. It's super important. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Sorry for the short video today, but again, I just feel like it had to be said, man. <laughs> appreciate you guys. And as always, take care, guys.